Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Unify AR. The AR stands for Augmented Reality. And essentially what this is, is a new way to kind of take a look at your switches and the, the ports that are in use on those switches by using an app, uh, which is currently only available for iOS, but hopefully will be available for Android at some point in the future. If you wanna see a good example of AR, uh, or the Unify AR, they actually have it right on their home screen. If you go to UI.com, you can see this sort of opening banner here that says, welcome to the UI of the future, Unify AR ready, and it shows them scanning a switch and then showing all of the switch ports. Now, it doesn't actually work exactly like they're showing here. This is sort of a accelerated version or an enhanced version of the Unify AR but it does work and let's first and foremost talk about the requirements what do you need to make unify ar work the first thing is you have to have one of the new generation of switches or the udm pro basically any of the new equipment that has this 1.3 inch uh, touchscreen display which i have featured on this channel a number of times already so it works with those devices. Uh, it is iOS only for now. There's no word on when an Android port might be coming, but I assume that there will be one in the future. This works uh, requires uh, the Unify app on your phone, on your iPhone or your iPad of version 5.3.1 or higher. Your Unify version has to be 5.12.66 or higher, which should be fine if you're running the latest and greatest because the latest release is 5.12.72. And 5.12.72 includes everything, all the firmware and everything that you need for Unify AR to work. I should mention also that I am running Unify on a Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. It's kind of back there behind that G4 Pro camera. But Unify AR also works if you have a UDM Pro. It really should work on any Unify device. Uh, Cloud-hosted, UDM, UDM Pro, Cloud Key, Cloud Key Gen 2, self-hosted. It really just matters what Unify version that you're on. The switches themselves have to be firmware version 4.3.8.11217 or higher. And again, as long as you're running Unify 5.12.72 and you've updated your switches to the latest version of firmware that comes with that version of Unify, then you have met the minimum requirements as far as Unify network controller and the firmware on the switches themselves. All right, so now let's take a look at Unify AR in action. Uh, first, you can see my setup here. So I have two of the Gen 2 switches. I have one of the standard Gen 2s and I have this Gen 2 Pro. These are both 24 port switches. And in the Gen 2 Pro, so I use this regular Gen 2 uh, as sort of my daily driver core switch. And then I set up this Gen 2 Pro with just some miscellaneous devices. I've got a G4 Pro camera plugged in, a USW Flex, a Flex Mini, and then this Nano HD access point. So just basically to show that there are some devices in here, and then down here, of course, we have many, many more devices. And if I was looking at this, especially if you come over here and you see this, say, okay, wait a minute, where's my desktop computer again? I forget, right? And luckily, I do have a label in here. <laughs> you can see that down there. This does say desktop on that label in there. So I always know where my desktop cable is, but let's say we didn't label our cables, like I haven't labeled all the rest of these cables. So like any of these, if we didn't know what, like this blue one here, what does this blue one do? It has a link, it's a blue cable going off somewhere, who knows where. And again, if you are working in a much larger environment where you don't have the ability to trace the cables, say these cables go off into the wall and then out to some sort of user location somewhere around your office, you might not know what's plugged into every single one of these ports. So then what we can do is get to our Unify AR. And to do that, we wanna bring up Unify on our phone. Now I already have Unify open. Let's go back to the dashboard. So here's Unify running on my phone. I'm also recording the screen of the phone to make this a little bit easier. And you see down here, we have more. So we're gonna click on more. And then we're gonna click on AR. Now watch my 1.3 inch touch screens when I click on AR. They immediately turn to a QR code, okay? And now we have this keep scanning, right? So if I move this around, you basically scan through your rack and it sort of gets its orientation. And then after a few seconds, it will say, okay, check mark, we're good. 
And now it says go ahead and scan whichever uh, QR code you want. So let's switch to the phone here and we'll scan our top switch here. Now I'm gonna turn it sideways. And if I scroll over, we can see, wow, look at that. So not only do we have the ports, we can see which ports are in use, but we can see what's plugged in. If you look at this one right here, it says UBC G4 Pro. This one is a cross connect to the USW24 PoE. This is a USW Flex, right? And so you can kind of see right off the bat what everything is connected to. Now you can come down here and sort of bring the phone down and it'll automatically switch over to the US24 PoE and that has many more devices connected. Or you can use these arrows on the left hand side to switch back and forth between the two devices. So you can see I can switch back and forth like so just by hitting the arrows. So looking at it one more time, let's go down to this switch down here. And we can see that everything is showing up. And if you have icons for any of your devices, uh, those it'll actually show the icon. So you can see some of these look like Ubiquiti equipment, but there are other icons like for iPhones and iPads and you know different devices, different common popular devices that would also show up. I have never been able to get those icons to work in my own personal Unify, but uh, it, they do seem to work, um, or they're supposed to work, and they would show up here in AR if they were working. One other thing, so if you have are a fan of this channel, and if you happen to see my Gen 2 Pro Switch review, I did show Ubiquiti AR in that review, but it was not working for my Gen 2 Pro Switch, and you'll notice now that it is working just fine. So what happened and how did I fix that? Well, let me show you. So. When you first come in here and you scan your devices for Unify AR, basically it scans through your entire rack of devices. So this is basically made for data centers where you might have you know, five to 10 of these stacked up. Uh, so if we click the settings icon in the top right hand corner, the little gear, we have this thing down here that says delete AR rack. So let's go ahead and do that now. Delete AR rack, we're gonna go ahead and delete our rack and we're going to exit AR. Okay, so now I've basically cleared out the AR data from the app. And now when I go back in to AR once again, it will have me reset up the rack, which allows me to then re-add any new switches that I've added to the rack since the last time I added switches to the rack, right? So basically anytime you you're basically creating a point in time of your rack and that is saved in Unify, in the Unify app on your phone. When you then have to add equipment or remove equipment from your rack, you then need to basically update the devices that you that Unify AR knows about. And so that's what we've just done. We deleted the old rack, now we're gonna create the new rack. So I'm gonna come back down here to AR, getting devices from Unify network, there we go. And now it's gonna have me sort of scan everything once again. And it says, let's get scan each switch in order from top to bottom so we can learn. Let's see, so we're from top to bottom, right? So we're gonna go to this first switch here, put it back on, there we go. So we've got one, see we have a check mark and it says USW Pro 24 PoE. Then we're gonna come down here, boom, we got a second one. So now you can see on the right hand side, I have two switches stacked up. Once I've scanned all my switches, I click next, uploading your rack, and then there we go. And now we're gonna do the same thing where I gotta go through this sort of orientation thing again, complete. And now when I scan once again, boom, I've got both racks and I can switch, in, switch between them. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. When I first saw that Ubiquiti was coming out with this AR stuff, I was pretty skeptical about the usefulness of AR. And certainly in a very small installation like mine, it's kind of a, it's a neat feature, but it's kind of gimmicky. Like, I don't really need that. I've only got, you know, in this case, two 24 port switches. It's easy enough to figure out and find where the devices are that these things are plugged into. Where, however, what I was not expecting is as soon as I started playing with it, I realized the value of this feature when you've got a ton of switches in your rack, right? If you've got 10, 15, 20 switches or multiple racks full of switches and you just need to know real quickly, hey, what goes where, this is gonna be a really good tool to have, right? Because then you can kind of just scan through 
and find a particular drop that you need to find or find a particular cross connect that you need to find, something like that, right? So in a larger environment, I think this can be really, really useful. Uh, of course, for smaller environments, it's super cool, <laughs> but how useful it is is certainly debatable. Okay, what do you guys think about Unify AR? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Put those down in the comments below. If you have any questions, also put those down in the comments below and I will be happy to try to answer them. One drawback that I do know about Unify AR, and I'll try to find a picture of it online if I can, is that if your switches are oriented vertically, right? So that if they are like on a wall vertically or something like that, and you scan them with Unify AR, the AR is still horizontal, right? So this is still a work in progress. Unify AR is not complete yet. As far as what features I would like to see included in Unify AR, I think it'd be neat if you could actually tap on the ports, uh, you know, tap on the devices, tap on the different ports and see port statistics for the ones that you tap on, such as, you know, current throughput or sort of historical throughput, maybe day, uh, you know, day so far throughput or, or week so far, month so far throughput, something like that. Just, just some sort of statistics about the ports that you're actually clicking on in Unify AR. I think that would make it uh, more helpful, right? Even if you could like click on it and just get more detailed information about that port, like the MAC address of the device and the IP and you know, whatever, whatever they might be able to toss into something like that. I think that would be super, super cool. Okay, there you have it, Unify AR. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name's Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.